open up your eyes uh. And now a free set aqua blue water Is all I see Bluer than the sky And it's all so deep Say island to island Just you and me Ja as a guide nah. What more we need say Sail away Aloha guys, this is your boy Radamel, aka the Hawaiian Peacock, here with another video for you. In this video here, we're gonna head to the backyard, all right? I kinda got something I wanna show you guys, all right? So let's go. All right, guys, so to the backyard. As you guys notice, hey, I got my Aquarium Depot shirt, Customer Appreciation Day. Um, we're gonna head to the backyard. The cool thing about today's video is, what are you guys watching? Uh, what? Oh my goodness. It's crude time, all right? Anyways, let's head to the backyard. Baby peacocks, you guys okay? Yeah. All right, aloha. All right, so let's go to the backyard. All right, guys, so I figured it was a beautiful day out here in the backyard. I gotta throw on my shade. So we're gonna do this little, like, uh, I guess a product review, you can say. Um, on the Aquion Quiet Flow 75 that I actually scored at my LFS. If you guys don't remember, I'll put the link up above. All right, that way you guys could uh, check out the um, video on it um, and uh, all the fine details. You know what my LFS was doing? They were doing a promotional thing with Aquion. They do it every single year. It's always at their customer appreciation day. And um, you bring in an old hang on the back. Uh, it could be working, it could be broke. You just bring one in and uh, they'll exchange it with a brand new Aquion Quiet Flow. And um, it doesn't matter uh, what size or power it is, they'll uh, match it. So if you bring in one equivalent to a 10 gallon tank, they'll just swap it out for a 10 gallon Aquion Quiet Flow. Uh, the one that I turned in was for a 75 gallon, uh, it's my top fin. And, um, they swapped it out with their Quiet Flow 75, which is equivalent for a 90 gallon tank. So I totally scored. I'm super excited. We're gonna get into this outside here. It's a wonderful day here in Sacramento. And uh, let's open it and check out the goods, see if we can modify it, because I love modifying my HOBs. And uh, yeah, you know me, let's go. And I wanted to point out a couple features, okay? So the first thing is it's self priming. So you don't have to pour a cup of water in the top to get it primed you just plug it in and it self primes itself which is really cool two it's got this little led indicator so what happens is once your sponges or your filter gets dirty the water will back up set off a little sensor in here and this red light will flash letting you know hey it's time to clean your sponges or you know exchange your cartridges and then third these are just three little features that i love um you can actually purchase a ammonia reducer, a carbon, and a phosphate remover. Okay, and what they do is they fit in these little slots right here, and it's just an extra, you know, boost to reduce your ammonia, you know, your carbon, and phosphate. Uh, that's for algae. So these are separate. You can buy those separate. I believe it comes with the uh, ammonia reducer. So, uh, and then I'm looking to maybe modify this. Maybe I can stick, uh, hmm, I don't know, maybe some bio balls or something inside there. But uh, we're going to check it out because you guys know I love to modify uh, my HOBs. So, uh, you know, I got some extra sponges here. I don't even know if they're cut down to size. Um, but anyway, speaking of cartridges and filters, um, part of the deal with Aquion was before you trade in your HOB, you just got to purchase the replacement filter cartridges for the actual filter that you got. And then, um, yeah, you get it for free. So that was a great deal. Well, this was 10 bucks. You get an HOB Aquion 90 gallon for free. All right, let's open it up, get into it. All right, so here we go. First off, this thing is well packaged, like and sealed in plastic. Pop this lid open, check it out. Uh, we got the oh, intake valve right here. We got our filter cartridges. bio holsters I guess they call them bio holsters. look how big this is a lot of room I can definitely see myself modifying this in the future but for now we're just gonna use the filter pads it came with pop this open what oh the LED light here's the LED light 
And uh, yeah, here are the uh, it's the bio holster with the filter pad cartridge that just slides in. Pretty easy. Yeah, they just uh, the cool thing is it says, says front on both tabs, so you make sure they're facing the front, which is cool. You won't have them backwards. Here's the other one. It says front, and you just match it up with the uh, bio holster that says front too. And they just slide in. So we'll use these. Oh, these this grid is pretty cool. It's called a bio holster, they call it, which is will host a lot of the beneficial bacteria. There's a lot of those actually. And there you go, it's pretty easy. So basically the uh, intake water will pass through the pads, pass through the uh, bio holster, and then it'll actually hit this uh, biomedia grid, they call it, which is supposed to quiet the water down and then eventually hit that filter pad but uh, yeah I wanted to take this out just to see how it would look with a cutout filter pad so there's plenty of room to put like a you know a coarse and then a fine so that's kind of cool you can upgrade it mess with the, mess with it a little bit yeah I like to put pre filters on my intake valves as you can see this one was for my uh, top fin it's uh, wrong size it's small and uh, you can see the intake valve, how, how long it extends. I don't need it this long, but I just wanted to show you guys how far it extends. And the intake has a, a lot of slots in it, so it sucks in a lot of water, I noticed. So I'm gonna have to modify this. I do have smaller intake valves here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two of these on instead of one big one. So this is what I got. So I'm gonna cut a hole out of this, or tear a hole. And we're going to go ahead and pull this over the, all the way up to the top. And then we're going to grab the other one. And that'll just fit right over the top, just like that. All right, so one thing I love about this HOB is underneath here where it hangs on the back of your tank, it's really soft gum rubber. So it's going to stick and it's not going to damage the tank at all. And it won't move around, which is really cool. So I love that feature. And then here's my pre-filters on my intake valve. I'm a big pre-filter guy. All of my tanks have it pretty much. Um, big debris, it'll stop big debris from sucking up in their food. Uh, it also hosts a lot of beneficial bacteria, so I love my uh, pre-filter valves. This little piece right here is called like a leveler. So what this does is it pushes the uh, HOB forward or back. So you want it to be pushing forward so the water enters the tank a little bit easier. And that's pretty neat. I love that. You want to make sure it's level. And uh, we're just going to snap in the LED light. Real easy to put in. It just It's ran by two watch batteries, so it'll last forever. And there you go. Pretty easy setup. All right, let's put some water in it. All right, I had a break really fast. Uh, give a shout out to Lacey over at Lacey's Place. Check out her stickers. She actually made these. She works for a printing company. So big shout out to Lacey. Thank you so much for the stickers, Lacey. I really appreciate it. Go check out her channel too. Almost done with a pond that she's building in her backyard. Huge pond. I, I want to say it's like 10 by 20 or something like that. You guys got to go check out her channel. I love her bullfrogs too. Check her out. Also want to give a big shout out to Lisa's Fishbowl Life. Thank you so much, Lisa, for the sticker. I really appreciate it. Go check out her channel too. She's got everything. Salt water, fresh water. Really cool personality too. And uh, yeah, go check her out, guys. Anyways, ladies, I want to say mahalo and aloha. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So we're here in the kitchen. I apologize. The TV's on. Baby peacocks are watching Men in Black. So we're gonna get into this uh, filter. I wanted to show you guys a feature that I didn't talk about yet. It's kind of important too, all right? So let's get into it. I'm gonna remove the top here, okay? So what I wanted to talk about was this piece here, okay? This piece here is called a biomedia grid, all right? It removes additional toxins while adding oxygen for more active fish. It also reduces splashing and makes water return exceptionally quiet. All right, so this is the piece that makes the actual Aquilon quiet flow quiet. Water's gonna pass through this grid, which you can see this surface area, right? Beneficial bacteria will actually colonize on this too as well. So not only do you have the hosters, the bio hosters for beneficial bacteria to colonize on, you also have this piece here. And you can also lay like a bag or two of more 
bio rings, bio balls, something right here on the top. For the water to pass through this, come out these holes here. You see these holes? And then it's gonna trickle onto the specialty pad. All right, this specialty pad is to reduce ammonia. They have one for carbon, and they also have one for phosphate, which reduces algae in the tank, okay? So this one reduces ammonia. Then once it trickles through here, it's gonna pass over this lip and then return into the tank. Now this piece here is what makes the Aquion quiet flow quiet. And it's removable, you can remove it. That's the backside of it. This is the front. So as you can see, when the water, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure when the water goes through here, it's gonna water, it's gonna break the water agitation here onto here, which makes it quiet. That's what I'm assuming. So let's check it out. Let's see how it works. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get these filter pads started. So it asks that you, uh, just like any HOB, hang on the back filter. Gotta get your, uh, your pads wet. This actually helps jumpstart. the uh, filter also rinsing off the uh, filter pad will get rid of any excess um, carbon uh, tiny particles that may be uh, outside of the uh, filter pad so rinsing them off is a really good idea uh, this just looks like it's a uh, filter floss with carbon in it your basic standard nothing fancy your basic standard package. Watch this dim mock here. Up and over. No water splashed on the counter. Let's make sure they say front. Make sure I put them on right. Front. Front. Hey guys, as I'm on my way to the room to install this filter, I want to give a huge shout out to Rob over at Aquion. He's the sales rep that's been with them forever. Uh, he's been there six years in a row over at Aquarium Depot doing this promotional with Aquion Quiet Flow. Um, so a big shout out to Rob. If you guys didn't see the video where I got a little interview with him, I'm going to roll the clip right now. Hit it. This is okay. Rob from Aquion. I traded in my old Top Fin 75. For this bad boy. Rob. Thank you for the time. Thank you for that little demo right here. This is mine and I got it for free. Aloha. Let's say aloha. Aloha. All right, we're on our way to the room. And see, we got that top fin. And you can kind of hear how noisy that is. I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll do a little comparison since we'll have it. And this is the spot where this new baby's gonna go right on here. So let me get this installed and we'll see it in a second. All right guys, so I'm behind the tank. Here is the back of the HOB. And you remember that little leveler that we talked about earlier outside? Anyways, that's that piece right there, okay? So this is what turns and maneuvers this base forward or back. And I'll show you guys here, let me show you. You see that, how it moves forward? And then watch it move back. See how it moves down? And then watch it, just move slightly forward. That's exactly how you want it. You want it a little bit forward so the water uses basic gravity and the motor doesn't have to strain on pushing the water up over. It's just gonna use the natural gravity, natural gravity, and let the water flow down into the tank. So that's what that leveler is for. All right, so we're going to plug this in and we're going to see how this self-priming uh, thing works. Uh-oh, I hear power. All right, let's see the self-priming. Wow. Just like that. Self-priming was fast. I was actually shocked. Now check out how quiet this is. Look at the way the water flows out, so uniform. It's like a crisscross pattern, interesting. You can actually see how it's trickling through the holes onto the special filter pad. And then the water agitation, which falls underneath, making this a lot quieter. All right guys, so I highly recommend the Aquion Quiet Flow, um, any series of Quiet Flow. Excellent hang on the back filter compared to that noise maker there. Excellent. Excellent product, Aquion. Thank you, guys.
All right, guys, so this week's Aloha Positive Comment shout out is going to Aqua Apprentice. Aqua Apprentice said, that store was really popping and you were like a news anchor. We can tell you enjoyed yourself and now that you have Colt, you need a Rocky and a Tum Tum. Tum Tum, I get it. It's three ninjas. It's kind of a kid's show. My boys love watching it. So I knew exactly what you were talking about, Aqua Apprentice. And he's referring to me being a news anchor is when we did that sixth annual, that last week video, sixth annual customer appreciation day at Aquarium Depot. I was walking around the store interviewing customers, uh, talking to sales reps. Even I was like, who the hell is this guy? I didn't know who the hell I thought I was. Anyways, I appreciate the love and support, Aqua Apprentice. Much love and aloha to you, brother. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, product review on the Aquilon Quiet Flow HOB, or better known as the Hang on the Back filter. Um, excellent filter, highly recommend it. You guys should get one if you guys need an HOB. They have all different power sizes. Check them out, all the bells and whistles on that thing. That self-priming thing is a seller in itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this film. I'm getting chewed up by mosquitoes. I have no idea why mosquitoes are out here in Sacramento, they're like, I don't know, you would think that we lived in the bayou or something like that. Hey guys, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, punch that notification bell for me, please. That's just gonna notify you when I put out a new video. Be a part of the Hawaiian Peacock Ohana. Be a part of my Ohana. We have a really good time on this channel. All my new subscribers out there, thank you and welcome. Mahalo for subscribing to my channel. All my regulars, love you guys and I appreciate you guys so much. Hey, don't forget to like and share. Comment below. Tell me what you thought about that Aquion hang on the back power filter. For reals, comment down below. I love to read all your comments and I, I'm pretty consistent on commenting back to every single one of you guys. So I really appreciate you guys, your input, your love, your support. Hey, follow me on Instagram too, okay? Don't forget about that. I do a lot of sneak peeks behind the scenes, Hawaiian peacock style, if you know what I mean. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you again. Hey, happy fish, happy life, much love. And aloha. Oh, the water she moves me every, every day. Oh, the water she.